got to be honest. You have to call the shots. Are you kidding me? You got a stupid ass tie on. Mi gente! You already know who it is. JJ Go Papi. It's Danny Limelight Rivera with the OG Hernandez 5150s in the building. And I was going to say, I was going to say it feels good to be back in the city of brotherly love, but really, I feel like I'm in the city of bums. Bums, bums that go and get rid of the best thing that ever happened to the Philadelphia 76ers. You guys fired Doc Rivers, the best coach ever? You guys might as well bring him back and bring back James Harden and sign him to a max deal. You see, instead, you guys spent all this money on players just for your playoff career to go flat. Flat like the Von Erich legacy. Yeah, 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 you see, flat, flat like Von Erich, Marshall Von Erich's feet. I bet Marshall be walking around Texas in some dumbass barn following his family like side up and shit talking about teach me wrestling. The only thing, shut your damn mouth. The only thing worse than that <laughs> is the 2009 Phillies who lost to the New York. I don't want to hear anybody say anything about New York either, baby. Shut your mouth. And the only thing worse than that is hustle and power. You see, Calvin shooting blanks, man, and EJ, no, no, nobody knows how to say your stupid ass name. Well, we've heard up for 51-50. By the way, I've never lost to Philadelphia since coming to MLW. Will that give them an advantage? Ross and Marshall, Von Eric still a score to settle. The number one ranked team here, Ross and Marshall, the Von Eric. And it has been a hell of a road for them to climb to get here. They battled COVID. They battled assaults for 5150. Injuries. But what a moment it was when they survived that bunkhouse crawl in Dallas. Well, this match already underway, and the champions haven't even made their way down to the ring yet. Hustle with power. And Duca. Tankman. I think Tim Barr has already gotten out of Dodge. I don't blame him. Not at all. But uh, it's about to get a whole lot more dangerous with the 6.8 natural athlete in Duca at heavyweight hustle Tankman in the fight now, and they go straight for the biggest guy in the brawl, Hernandez. This bout under sudden victory rules. Whoever gets the first pinfall, knockout, or submission is the winner and the MLW World Tag Team Champions. Danny Limelight Rivera taken down. And check out this stare down. First time we've seen these two teams in the ring of one of the five recollection. And Duca. And Tankman going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ross and Marshall Von Erich. Long overdue chance to reclaim the gold for Ross and Marshall. Yeah, Von Erich's the longest reigning MLW World Tag Team Champion in history. Four to 38 days. Hustle and Power, the current champion. 51-50 had 112 Tay Reign and Calvin Tankman, man, sent for a loop by Super Max Hernandez. And the addition of Hernandez Rich has only made 51-50 more experienced, more powerful, and more dangerous. Well, you think about what Hernandez did to Ross Von Erich in, in Dallas, that finger toss right through the table. Over we thought that right, yeah. Over the top row, sword to the outside, no protection, no padding, no way for Ross Von Erich to protect himself. And now, pick up where they left off. Oh. The double team on EJ and Duke. Oh, big set on. Danny Limelight is like a Puerto Rican pit bull. Can 5150 keep their edge when we come back? There it is! The Nightmare Pendulum! It's your boy Hammer. Micro Man! School's in session. The first lesson, you don't piss off at Texas. Ooh, my game! Ooh, my game! This ain't no gimmick, big dog. Jacob Fatu is not no gimmick. I'm only concerned with being the best wrestler in the world. Back on Fusion 5150, Von Erichs hustle up power, world tag title at stake. With EJ and now Rivera. Boy, and Duke is so huge, isn't it? Tough to get up on your shoulders, tough to maneuver around. And Boy, that could work to Hustle and Power's advantage in this matchup. An incredibly strong-willed as well. That, that mentality, that mindset. And Duca, uh, and right in front of Los Maximos, our Spanish announced team, 
you got to wonder what they're thinking about getting a up close and personal look at the MLW Tag Division in 2022. Not the same look as when they left it, huh? No, but they certainly came in here with one goal in mind, and that's to get themselves in the tag team title picture. I think they made that clear. That's why they're back in Major League Wrestling, and it should be interesting to see uh, where their path goes. They are MLW originals and true animators in tag team wrestling. Oh, oh man, what a shot from Tank. And this is just a straight up brawl. Keep in mind, it was hustle and power that took those tag titles. But 51 50. Oh, no! Tossed right over the Spanish announce table, right into those Maximos, and then Duke now over to help heavyweight hustle back up. Joel and Jose get wiped out, much like uh, Carlos and Hugo once upon a time. The Maximos are hurt, and the Maximos, their broadcast, I think, just got uh, shut down. Yeah, I think uh, I think the transmission has been interrupted. World Tag Team titles on the line here. It's Tankman and Nduka, who I are love, the champions. I love the fearlessness of Marshall Von Erich, by the way. I don't know if there's anybody more heavy-handed in MLW than Calvin Tankman, but Marshall taking the fight. He's that Von Erich spirit that has helped his family propel themselves through so many wars for decades. An explosive showdown here tonight. Two former Tag Team champions challenging hustle and power. The World Tag Team belts way in the balance. My God, wow. Tankman is pound for pound one of the most powerful competitors here in MLW. And within Duca is his teammate. Wow, look at this. Incredible tandem maneuver. I don't think I've ever seen a new team on the block gel so well so quickly. Gabariche trying to put it away. And Ross Von Erich in there to break up the cover. As EJ and Tankman have over these past four or five months or so. It's like they were born and bred to team together. It's like they're, they complement each other perfectly. They're missing piece, piece to each other's puzzle. But they are brothers. They didn't grow up together like Ross and Marshall. And that synergy may drive them along. Keep in mind the Von Erichs have, have fought 51-50. Marshall with a standing moonsault into the cover. And Rivera there to break it up. The Von Erichs defeated Terry and Ricky Morton once upon a time. They have faced other dynasty tandems and come out on top, and they've survived injured knees, injured ankles, a concussion issues, courtesy of those 51-50 assaults, and they're still fighting. Calvin Tankman, oh man, Hernandez launching himself in, big shoulder tackle. Tankman is gonna go to the outside. And 51-50, firing up the crowd. I think they're trying to fire themselves up. Whatever's in the works. Look out. Oh my goodness. Twist. Rivera over the top. Twisting clutch up by Danny Limelight Rivera. And with the champions reeling. And maybe time for Super Max Tassar. Hernandez throwing caution to the wind with the tag team titles on the line, leaping over the top. It is anyone's matchup here tonight in Philly. Hernandez is a former eight-time World Tag Team Champion in his career. Four of those title reigns were as part of the predecessor, the precursor, to 5150 LAX. And now they have Ross Von Erich set up for the 456 head crack. And no one is kicked out of this. Cover! 5150 have the titles again, no. Tankman intervenes just in case Ross was not able to kick out. And that looked for a second like 51-50 going to continue their unbeaten streak in Philly once again. 51-50 activating their rematch clause. As they continue to evolve and gain soldiers. This crew of thugs. Uh oh, hold on, Tankman. The spinning back fist. And hustle and power. Could be finding a way back into this. Tankman wants to end it. He's ready to put this thing away. Tankman has proven that he could beat 51-50 in the past with EJ. Tankman worked so hard here in MLW for his first championship. He will not falter, he will not fail. Calvin Tankman will fight through anything. I'm not sure if Danny Limelight Rivera knows where he is. Tankman setting Rivera off. And you're right, I mean, oh, hold on. 
Rivera. This is dangerous territory no matter who you are. Look out for Hernandez now. Two on one attack on Tankman. What in the world? Tankman is, is oh, 300 no. oh, my God. No. pounds. Mortar toss, no. Tankman able to slip three. Here's Induka with a giant spear. Rib crunching power by the judge. Hustle and power feeling it. The World Tag Team Champs. Yeah, they're ruling the ring right now. Tankman and Induka. Limelight. Still perched on the top. Here come the Von Erics back into the into the fray up on the apron. And it is uh, oh, Hernandez a, getting ping pong. There's an iron claw. That Von Erich specialty. No! Oh, iron Eagle! And Hernandez crashes through the table. Much like Hernandez sent Ross through the table in Dallas. That's payback, but look out for Rivera. Hold on now, tape in. Oh, look at that unmitigated power of heavyweight hustle. Rivera's kicking his legs. He's trying to fight. No! Spike Tankman driver with authority. Cover. Landed on his head as Rivera and Hustle and Power retain the title. Ladies and gentlemen, there are your winners and still MLW World Tag Team Champions, Hustle. Language translation went through, but by any language, hustle and power. Oh, wait a minute now, hold on. Los Maximos. Los Maximos. I decided that I gotta do my own thing. Maximos jumping the champions from behind. Yeah, Los Maximos tried to get a bird's eye view and do some scouting, and that blew up in their face a couple of different ways, and they're gonna take it out in the champions and just call their shot correctly. And Duca. And Tankman, after a hard-fought victory here tonight. Hey, you want to make a statement? Look out, they're over by us here. You make a statement, you pick on the meanest, toughest dogs in the yard, and Tankman and EJ are the men to target as the champions, and they're not going to back down. It's OG MLW versus currently MLW, and it's a fight. We are just days away from the biggest